So I went to Home Depot. They didn't have everything that I was looking for. I got a couple of totes. Let's see, will this focus? Boom. I got a couple of new totes. Um, anyway, I got a couple of new totes, three of them. I got some small ones for like stickers to keep them organized and they're clear so I can see which stickers are in the box. Not to mention, none of these Home Depots over here. First of all, they sent me on a wild goose chase. Second of all, none of these Home Depots out here even have what I'm looking for. And each Home Depot said they had it. And then when I show up, it's not there. But it's Tuesday after work hours. There's no way three of these little tool dresser things are gonna disappear. Ultimately, I'm buying, it's like a 27 inch tabletop, but it's like a rolling cart, tool cart, work cart. Does that make sense? And it locks and it has drawers and it has a, a power outlet with USB power and all this. It's like 130 bucks, but for some reason online it says they have it at all these locations and then when i go into the locations they're not there so it's a little annoying we're gonna have to finish this another day i'm going back in the office boss has been by himself for like two hours and i really don't like leaving him alone so let me get back to that boo I don't know if y'all can hear me or not, it's wild out here. It's fucking my shit. I had to come to the middle of nowhere. But I got the cash register counter. Cash wrap? Let's call it a cash wrap. Got it. Alright guys. I've been to three different Home Depots. Y'all suck giving me the run around, but look. I got the cash, uh, cash wrap. It's dope because look. It's got just enough space for the, for the cash register. It's recessed in there. It's got a pegboard so you could display some stuff or you try to sell. You got a lockable cash drawer. And then you got these drawers down here that you could put the cash register inside the thing. So if you go to a big events like I do all the time, you can uh, put your cash register, put your, uh, your square card, your iPad, all that. You can lock it all up in here to money. Put it in your SUV. Fits perfect. And then uh, now you're at the races, making money. Guys, I can't breathe, man. I got asthma, yo. Look at this, barely fits, but it, it made it, it made it. I got the goods, y'all. They didn't have eight of these things, but they had six. And uh, now that I'm thinking about the layout of the booth, I think we could get away with six. I'm gonna throw these in the truck and uh, we'll head to the office. Let's get it. All right, y'all. So I just got the goods, as you saw. Hold on, it's getting crazy out here. Um, and let me tell you guys something. So the lady, she's like, oh yeah, these, uh, they're called like U, U rails. The C rails don't have the 90 degree bend, which I need. Um, so I got U rails. It's basically like a, a, a U shaped rail that you click onto the thing, you hang your clothes off of and it looks pretty. But basically she's like, oh, you know, those are uh, 1390. And I was like, what? on the website because she she found a price for the the white ones and the white ones were 1390 but on the website the black ones and the silver ones they were like 11 bucks and i was like well i don't want the, the fucking white ones i don't sell makeup and jewelry so 
I told her, I was like, all right, well, uh, on, web on the website, they're 11. She's like, oh, I don't know about that. Uh, if that's what they are online, though, I'll give you that price. I pulled it up and I showed her and she's like, you know what? Uh, she's like, um, she started asking me about my brand and, uh, you know, I don't know. Her mood just kind of switched up when I started telling her about my clothing company. She's like, you know what? Let me give you uh, two percent off just because. And I was like, all right, cool. Well, in that case, ma'am, my hair needs to get cut. Next video, haircut. No, I'm kidding. Uh, and I was like, oh, well, if you're gonna give me two percent off, um, let me buy one of these counterfeit pens. They had them at the counter. It's like a little highlighter. I thought it looked cool as hell. It's like a highlighter yellow. It's clear. You can see the ink in there. It's cool. Um, but yeah, uh, she gave me, uh, so I bought the highlighter pen with basically the discount. And honestly, I don't even know if that would have been three bucks off 2%. I don't know the math driving down eight mile. But either way, I probably spent more adding the pen than I got from the discount. And for me, that's how you give back to Detroit businesses. When a Detroit business says, hey, let me hook you up. Let me give you a two for one. Let me hook you up. Try this for free. Like you're supposed to take that energy and like give it back to them. Like not every time, cause sometimes you're just supposed to accept a gift. But sometimes when you got it, you know, if they all, oh, you know, let me give you a discount. If you got it that day, be like, nah, let me get two actually. Let me pay regular price. And you know, uh, putting that little pen on there, um, it, it's just like a very small, it's only a couple bucks, $3 or something. But it's just one of those small gestures you can make to, I don't know, pay it forward. But yeah, going down eight mile back to the east side, got to go to the office. Where am I going? I don't know. You'll see in the next clip. Let's go. May I hit stop or Are you bored? Are you good boy for daddy? What's up with that bubble, fam? Oh, the bubble pop. All right, guys, same day. You know the drill. I'm at the park with this guy. It's his favorite time of the day, you know? And we gotta go. Are you ready to go for a walk, bud? Are you ready to go for a walk? <laughs> 